Okay, guys, I have some bummer of news to share with you all. Raquana Williams, a 10-year WNBA vet and member of last year's championship-winning Las Vegas Aces team, has made headlines for all the wrong reasons this week. She's been accused of domestic violence involving her wife. So Raquana was arrested for the alleged violence and released less than a day after her arrest without bail, the judge said that she can have no contact with her alleged victim and must comply with alcohol monitoring pending another court appearance on August the 2nd. Also, Raquana is now barred from participating in any team activities at the moment. The Las Vegas Aces have issued a statement condemning domestic violence and acknowledging Raquana Williams' arrest. They also said that they are closely monitoring the situation. The WNBA and the WNBPA has also released statements uh, stating that they are gathering more information about the incident. So before we get into specifically what Raquana is accused of doing this time, just know that this is not her first time dealing with domestic violence accusations. In 2019, while playing with the Los Angeles Sparks, she received a 10 game suspension without pay due to domestic battery charges. In that 2019 incident, uh, she was accused of punching her ex-girlfriend and pulling her hair. And according to the, the report, two men broke up the altercation. And at one point, Raquana walked to a blue Camaro, grabbed a pointed it at one of the men saying, you'll get all 18. And then she sped away in her car. For this 2019 case, Raquana pleaded not guilty to two felony assault and weapons charges related to the case. A year later, both of those charges were dropped after she reportedly completed a diversion program. So now that we have a little bit of understanding of what Raquana was alleged to have done in the past and uh, what resulted in that, let's take a closer look at what Raquana is accused of doing this week. So according to court records, she is facing five felony charges, including domestic battery by strangulation, coercion with threat of uh, use of physical force, assault with the use of a weapon. Additionally, she faces four misdemeanor domestic battery charges, so nine charges in total. And when you look at some of the details, it's pretty disturbing. So according to ESPN this past Tuesday, July 25th, allegedly um, early that morning, Raquana and her wife was having an argument um, at their place about cheating al allegations. Raquana left to stay at a hotel, but before she left, she took her wife's phone and other items. Raquana allegedly found evidence of cheating on the phone. She returned to their residence and that's when another argument ensued and allegedly Raquana kicked, punched, and tried to strangle her spouse. According to the AP, Raquana allegedly also wielded a heavy candle and metal stand as weapons and use them as weapons to prevent her wife from leaving the room. Officers responded to the call and noted several injuries on Raquana Williams' wife, including scratches on her throat, a bruised left eyebrow, a scratch on her right thumb. And Raquana actually said that she was a victim of uh, this assault. Um, doctors, however, could not find any evidence to support her uh, victim claims. And as I mentioned before, Raquana was arrested, released without bail less than a day later, and the judge said she can't be in contact with, with her, her wife and must comply with um, alcohol monitoring um, before her court appearance. So that's allegedly what happened in this situation. Um, we don't know for sure. This is all that has been alleged from the report that the officers took, as well as just reporting from the AP, as well as ESPN. Now let's talk about this situation. Um, it is very, very disheartening to see that domestic violence allegations are still a thing in the WNBA. Uh, if you are a WNBA fan for any length of time, you have seen this happen before. You've seen allegations made against prominent WNBA players in the past, including some players who are continuing to play in the league today. And Raquana now has a second public allegation of domestic violence. Uh, this looks really, really bad. And while Raquana is innocent until proven guilty, 
Um, this is just bad for business for both the Las Vegas Aces as well as the WNBA. And if you've ever seen Raquana Williams play in the WNBA, you know how solid of a basketball player she is. She's 33 years old, she is a five foot seven guard, and she's in her 10th year in the WNBA. And last season, uh, she averaged 6.7 points a game. And while that number isn't that high, keep in mind she was injured for a good part of last season. And when it was necessary, she stepped up and scored some points, including uh, a really big uh, scoring game in the WNBA Finals. Uh, she scored 17 points against the Connecticut Sun to help secure the WNBA Championship for the Las Vegas Aces. Uh, this season with the Las Vegas Aces, she has yet to make her appearance because she is still trying to come back from a back injury. And while the Aces have temporarily barred Raquana Williams from, from the team, she is still an official member of this roster. So we will see what the Aces decide to do with Raquana Williams going forward. And yes, I am talking about basketball in the, on this video because this is a basketball channel. Uh, so I am gonna talk about how this affects the Las Vegas Aces. But to be very, very clear, Domestic violence is a serious, serious crime and should never, ever, ever be condoned regardless of how good a player is. And as I mentioned before, this is not the first time that Raquana has faced these allegations. And it's clear that her alleged actions are inexcusable. The WNBA has taken previous disciplinary uh, action against her. And considering the nature and seriousness of these recent charges, the Aces seriously need to consider waiving Raquana Williams from this team. Uh, while losing, you know, a player like Raquana Williams will definitely hurt the Aces prospects as they as they try to uh, become back-to-back -back WNBA champions. Um, Raquana Williams is one of those players that really, really shows up in the playoffs. Um, the Aces still need to waive her, in my opinion. Um, and they still have time to still sign a very high quality player and get them fully acclimated with the team before the playoffs start. Uh, regarding this case, uh, let's hope that justice is served um, and that this incident serves as a reminder for folks that violence has no place in any relationship um, or within the world of sports. Uh, my prayers go out to Raquana Williams' wife uh, for the abuse that she has allegedly suffered. Um, that she gets the physical and mental healing um, from this situation um, because looking at um, what has been alleged, this is, it seems like a very, very traumatic experience. Um, and I just pray that she, she gets the healing that she needs. Um, also, my prayers goes out to Raquana Williams. Uh, she really needs to get serious help because this is the second time this has come up that we know about, who knows, you know, what else has possibly happened in the past. Um, and this alleged anger that she has displayed is not a healthy way to live. It's just not. And I pray that she actually gets the help that she needs to deal with her emotions in a way that does not involve hurting other people. All right, all right, guys, so that was the news for today. Again, bummer of news. Uh, this is not a good topic to be talking about, but I'm talking about it because it's real. This is what happened. And I wanna make sure that you all know um, what has been alleged. Um, and we will find out more on August 2nd when, when Raquana Williams goes to court. Um, however, this is just not looking good. Um, and this is... Yeah, this is just not a good situation. Um, I will keep you guys posted on what happens going forward on my YouTube community tab. Uh, so if you're interested in just keeping up to date, I will make sure to keep you up to date on that. I don't think I'll make another video about this, um, but I will keep you up to date on the community tab. Um, and let us as people um, just continue to take a stand against domestic violence and promote a culture of respect both on and off the court. Um, because again, this is not acceptable. And this is not the first time that the WNBA has had players that has been accused of domestic violence issues. This is not just a Raquana Williams issue. Um, there have been other players, which I um, I don't think I'm gonna name now, um, that have dealt with this ser serious issue, this the serious allegation against them. 
And uh, the information in this video can be found uh, from many different sources, including uh, most notably ESPN and the AP. Uh, you can find links to those articles in uh, the description of this video. Uh, that's where I get my sources from. Uh, and also please note that these are just allegations um, and they're just that, allegations. I am just reporting out from what I've read from other sources. Um, in America, you are legally innocent until proven guilty. So please do not sue me. Uh, thank you all so, so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to please like and subscribe to this channel. Um, also hit that bell notification to be updated on uh, more uh, videos and community tab updates as, as we go along. Uh, everyone, please stay safe. Please be nice to other people. And I will see you in the next video. Until next time, guys. Bye.